What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to convert an image into a text word document, right? In my case I've got in here this picture of this book page and you want to convert it into text. And do not worry because this works with documents as well. For example, you've got something printed, you want to digitalize it, you want to convert it into a Word file to save up time. So you do not need to type all this text manually. Okay, so I'm going to show you an automated way, an easy way to actually convert this into a text document. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, this is a pretty easy uh, method to do this. We've got many methods, but this is one of the easiest and efficient way because you do not need to install anything strange, okay? You just need Microsoft Word, that's all you need. And of course, you need to capture a good picture of your book page or your document page. Make sure you've got some good lighting and make sure that everything is visible as it is in here okay so without any further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so first things first let's quickly open up microsoft word i've got microsoft word installed right here next up we're gonna double tap here on a blank document so what we want to do is we want to create a blank document okay so next up we're gonna hop into the insert tab here on the top left corner Next up, we're going to select pictures and tap on this device as we are inserting actually a picture which is located in my laptop device. So next up, let me quickly search or browse for my picture. In my case, it's here on desktop. So I'm going to select the picture. I'm going to tap on insert. Boom. Here we go. We now have the picture here on my Word document. Next up, we're going to tap here on wrap text okay so if you find difficulties in finding wrap text make sure that you are in the format tab here okay so it might be that you're on the wrong tab such as view or design you won't see the wrap text so make sure you head all the way to format select the image and tap on wrap text next up tap here on in front of text this will allow us to actually move freely the image that we've just loaded into our word document this will allow us to properly tweak and make a few corrections here on the picture so that microsoft word recognizes every single word here precisely okay so once this is done the next thing we're going to be doing is actually hopping into corrections here on the top left corner tap on it and of course make sure that you are here in the format tab okay next up we're going to tap here on picture corrections options down here okay so simply tap once on it and then you'll be able here to see the brightness and the sharpness settings over here so what we want to do is we want to increase a bit of brightness depending on the picture that you've took okay so what we want to do here we want to actually edit the color grading of the picture so that the software recognizes it very well so depending on how you took your picture with your phone or an ipad or something like that we want to make sure that the picture is visible so first things first let's increase the brightness a bit as you guys can see as i keep on increasing the brightness the text become even more clear because see if you notice here at the background we have some text visible here which is from the next page so you want to make sure that the system doesn't identify this as text okay it might confuse the system and make it think that it's a text well not so by increasing the brightness a bit as you can see it becomes white over here and it disappears right we only stay with the text now it's important also to match the color of the page here with the background here, okay? It doesn't need to be perfect, but the more close it is, the better. This will also help with the recognition system, okay? So let me increase it like this and boom, here we go. I'll keep it on 44% according to my image color. And then you can also increase the sharpness if the text is not very sharp. In my case, it's sharp. So I'll just keep it at 10%. But if you think that you want to increase it more, feel free to increase the sharpness here. Next up, we're going to be selecting here the crop option. Okay. So by 
tapping here on crop, we can select exactly which text we want to convert into a Word document. In my case, I only want this page. Remember, we have two pages in here. If I decrease the brightness, you can easily see that we've got two pages in here, but I only want this one, right? So it's important for us. Let me just bring back my brightness to 44. Here we go. It's important for us to select the text that we want. In my case, I want it to start here at if hope is a living organism and then let me select it here okay till here and till here boom so this is all i want to convert and then once i'm done selecting i'm gonna simply tap here on crop and here we go we've got my text right here now what i'll be doing is i'll be increasing the size of it okay so just increase the size to increase its precision while recognizing the text here we go but you want to make sure that it fits all into one single page okay and not two pages of word document so here we go we've got the whole page with this image fitting in here okay here we go now make sure you leave a bit of margins here on the sides and on the top and, on, and at the bottom as well let me just decrease a bit the size yes so that it doesn't get cropped further okay so once you're done doing this what we'll be doing is we'll be saving this document here by tapping on file on the top left corner save as and then this pc this is the destination i'll keep it on desktop okay so i'll just name it as um scan okay let me keep it a scan and most importantly you need to change the document type to pdf this is very important and then we're going to tap here on save so here we go my document is already saved and as you guys can see this is the pdf document that i've created okay here we go it automatically launched it's in pdf it's not yet converted to word document we're getting there and here we go now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening a new word file okay so we're going to open a new word file of course a blank document again and here we go now over here we're going to simply tap here on view okay once we're here in the view tab we're going to tap here on outline and then we're going to be selecting show document option so once you tap on show document option next up you'll be able to see two options in here one is create and the second one is insert so we're going to tap on insert okay next up we're going to be browsing here for our document in my case it's on desktop and here we go scan is the name that i've attributed to my pdf file remember so select scan or your document and then tap on open and then next up we'll be able to see this prompt right here which says word will now convert your pdf to an editable word document this may take a while blah 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 blah, blah. simply tap on ok and then wait while microsoft word does its thing and boom here we go our text is now converted to a Word document, okay? So here we go, we've got all the text, and just for confirmation purposes, let me just quickly reduce the size and open the image that I've converted. So here we go, this is the image, and as you guys can see, we've got the whole text, okay? It starts with, if hope is a living organism, here we go, and it ends up on, of the worst, dot two. We've got in here of the worst dot two. So we've definitely converted the entire text to a Word document file. Now in here, you might be seeing a few errors or grammatical mistakes sometimes, depending on how clear or how neat your document or your picture is. Do not worry, you might be having a wrong word, simply correct it. You can definitely correct it if you have something here mistakenly written, simply correct it. Now, the next thing I would recommend you guys to do is to simply copy the text, right? You just need to copy the text and then you can open a notepad file in here and then you're gonna paste the text that you've copied. Here we go, we've got the text and then we're gonna copy one more time and then we're gonna open a third new blank document on Word and then we're gonna paste the text. Here we go. Why are we creating another document? Why are we pasting it on Notepad and then pasting in here? 
because actually this document has a few bullet points in here as you can see so it's formatted in a specific way with a specific style so by pasting here on notepad and then copying it once again and then pasting it in here on a new document will actually remove all that customized styling and it will keep it as a raw text so now from here you can add your own custom style from scratch without having any issue right you can easily justify or align it to the center the way you are so i prefer to paste it here first and then pasting it here i hope this video really helped you if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing leave a comment down below and like the video if you have any doubt or if you face any issue throughout this process leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to reply to you as soon as possible thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day